Imagine dropping two different objects from a tall building. Which one do you think will hit the ground first? You might be surprised by the answer. This question, seemingly simple, has puzzled thinkers for centuries. The common belief was that heavier objects fall faster than lighter ones. A feather versus a stone, surely the stone hits the ground first, right? Enter Galileo Galilei, a man of the 17th century, a time when such beliefs were not only accepted, but considered as irrefutable truths. Yet, Galileo dared to think differently. He proposed a revolutionary idea that stood in stark opposition to what was widely accepted. He suggested that, disregarding air resistance, all objects, regardless of their mass, fall at the same rate. A notion so audacious, it challenged the very fabric of accepted wisdom. It was a direct affront to the status quo, shaking the foundations of what we thought we knew. Galileo's idea was so audacious, it defied the accepted wisdom of his time. But was he right? So, how did Galileo go about proving his radical idea? Well, to answer that, we turn to the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa. Here, Galileo decided to challenge the centuries-old belief that heavier objects fall faster than lighter ones, a belief that even the great Aristotle had promoted. But Galileo, ever the skeptic, decided it was time to test this theory. He climbed to the top of the tower, armed with two spheres of different weights. One was heavy, and the other significantly lighter. The crowd below watched with bated breath as he prepared to drop the spheres. And then, in a moment that would change our understanding of the world forever, he let them go. To the amazement of onlookers, both spheres hit the ground at the same time. The crowd was stunned. The heavier sphere did not, as they had expected, land first. In fact, it landed simultaneously with the lighter one. This was a direct contradiction to Aristotle's theory, a theory that had stood unchallenged for nearly 2,000 years. But Galileo didn't stop there. He repeated his experiment again and again, each time with objects of different weights, and each time the result was the same. Whether he dropped a feather or a hammer, a pebble or a boulder, they all hit the ground at the same time. Galileo's daring experiment demonstrated that the rate of fall of an object is not affected by its weight. This was a radical departure from the accepted wisdom of the time. His demonstration flew in the face of conventional belief, courageously challenging and ultimately changing our understanding of the physical world. And so, Galileo's experiment at the Leaning Tower of Pisa became one of the most famous scientific experiments in history. It showed us, in the most dramatic way possible, that our assumptions about the world are sometimes wrong, and it opened up a new world of scientific discovery, one where anyone with the right curiosity and the will to test their ideas could rewrite the rules of our universe. His experiment was a game changer, but what was the science behind it? Galileo's experiment wasn't just a cool trick, it was the foundation for understanding the laws of free fall and gravity. It was a daring challenge to the common beliefs, a revolution that would change our perspective on the world and beyond forever. Let's delve into the heart of Galileo's law of falling bodies. It all boils down to two key principles. First, all objects, regardless of their mass, fall at the same rate in a vacuum. Second, the speed at which these objects fall is constantly accelerating, influenced only by gravity. This means, if you were to drop a feather and a stone in a vacuum, they would hit the ground at the same time. Now what's this got to do with gravity, you might ask? Well, gravity is a force that pulls objects towards each other. It's why we stay grounded on Earth and not float away into the abyss of space. It's also why the Moon orbits the Earth and why the Earth orbits the Sun. It's a universal rule applicable everywhere in the cosmos. The beauty of Galileo's discovery lies in its simplicity. He didn't need fancy equipment or complex mathematics. He just needed an astute mind and the courage to question. And what he found was a universal truth, a fundamental law that governs how objects move. His law of falling bodies was a stepping stone towards understanding the broader concept of gravity, eventually leading to Newton's laws of motion and Einstein's theory of relativity. So. Next time you drop something, remember, it's not about its weight. It's all about gravity. And that's a truth brought to light by Galileo that continues to shape our understanding of the universe.